once you're their friend, they go to the ends of the earth and back for you. They, uh, if, if you become their friend, there are very few things they would not do for you. And they're amazing people. They're, they're just, I miss their culture a lot. When I first came, uh, when I first came back, American culture was difficult. Um, cause I'd go up to buy something and the cashier would be like, Hey, how's your day? And I'd be like, well, you know, calm down. I've got the money. What do you want? You know? Um, but that's because I know that when my Dutch friends say, Hey, how's your day? What they're really asking is, is how are you? What can I do for you? Are you, are you okay? You know, I, if, if your life's going well, I want to hear about it. And that's so cool. It's amazing. They are amazing people and I love them. I absolutely love their ability to, to cook and to be willing to share, to share their love and passion for the things that they do. You know, when you, when you compliment them on, on their food, they're more than willing to just sit and explain how they made it and, and what all went into it and, um, and to just keep giving you more since you like it. And um, I love how smart they are. They, they make sure to think things through and that it makes sense and they're very smart and logical. And, um, and that was something that I, I needed a lesson in to, to be thoughtful about the things that I do and, and to take the time about decisions and things. They're just very, very strong examples of, of how to live their life, of being smart with money, being smart with school. And, um, and so that's something that I admire about them, that they are very independent and strong-willed, um, but also rely on their families, that their families are important to them. I love that they don't depend on personal cars, that you can just hop on a train to get to work, or you just get on your bike to go to the grocery store and you're carrying all of your grocery bags on the handlebars. And, and I'm also very thankful for their honesty, for their willingness to help, even, even if it's hurtful, you know, because you know, it's hard to take criticism, but I, I love their honesty because it really shows who they are and how much they care. When I got there, I was really surprised at how friendly people were. I thought, okay, this place is cold. This place is really dark in the winter. People aren't going to be very nice, you know, but I really grew to admire um, their kindness and their openness with strangers, people they didn't know. Now, there are always people that are closed or not as open to talk to you, but for the most part, I found people really helpful. I found people very willing to um, help me with, with the language, with understanding how their country worked. Um, I noticed that they love to talk about their country. It's so, the Netherlands is so small. If it's probably five times in the state of Utah and probably seven times in California, it's just tiny, but the people there are very, um, close to their culture. They're very aware of what is considered Dutch and, and what's not. And um, I feel like the quicker you can love what is Dutch and what they consider important, the faster they grow to love you and appreciate you. The people work really hard. They seem to work and want to work so hard at what they do. When people were at work, they were working. And when they were at home, they were with their family. And um, I loved seeing that family was a center of the culture. Um, also, they're very independent people. They uh, like to do things themselves, and uh, they definitely have their opinions about life and religion and the world around them and what should be happening and what shouldn't, but I feel like that's, that's everywhere. It just seemed to come out stronger in the Dutch people. <laughs> um, some of my my dearest friends are Dutch, and I feel like I learned the most from their openness with me. One of the things that I love about them, just that I saw in my time there, 
is they they work especially you know the native dutch people they work really well in a society together you know they all kind of they do their part and they have a they're they're pretty conscious of you know the effect they have on the community as a whole obviously not everyone but that's a general trend that i noticed uh you know just for an example they they do pretty well at, at recycling that's something that they make a big point of they have lots of um, facilities and different things to service that and and then they just they're just aware of people around them you know they they don't want it they won't ever impose on you um, you know sometimes you might get the wrong impression that they're not friendly because they won't necessarily just strike up a random conversation all the time but you know if you ask for help they're more than willing to help you and, you know if you need to find something or you just need help figuring something out on the street um, I've had so many nice people and and then you know when you do get to know them you have a reason to talk to them you know you know a friend of theirs they're so hospitable really nice really nice people and they they go out of their way to just and they love sharing about the country and they love sharing about just just things that they love in the area a, a lot of them have that have lived in the in the cities or the areas that they that they lived if they lived there for a while i mean um they're really aware of what there is to do there not only what to do, but just the history and the culture. They, you know, they, they feel a part of it. And it's, I think that it also does exist in some places in the States, but I notice it's, it's really prevalent there. And it's interesting because it's such a small area, but you know, just, just every area that they live, they, they love and they take care of it. And it's, and it, for me, that's something great to see. And they, you know, they have, they have art all over their cities, very interesting art. They have, it's well-groomed, well-maintained, especially in the Netherlands. And it, it's just, it's just nice to see how much they, they care about it and will help you out as well. Dutch culture is different. It, it is very different from American culture, but they appreciate, um, they appreciate positive, genuine interaction the same way American people do. Um, and in a lot of ways, I, I prefer their culture. Um, a couple things to be aware of. The Dutch are extremely down to earth and very practical, extremely practical. Um, so walking up to someone and saying, hey, how are you doing? Is weird to them um, because they know you don't care. And they know that that information means nothing to you. And so some people, depending on how American you're acting, will realize that you're an American and just roll with it. For some people, they find it mildly offensive um, because you're, you're trying to pry into their life for no reason. Um, so often you just have to adapt to not asking people, how are you doing or how is it going? Um, once you get to know people, then that's a, that's a very, that's a, that's a question that shows that you care. They're very blunt as well. Um, if, you're, if your Dutch is bad, sometimes you'll be like, I'm sorry, my Dutch is bad. And they'll be like, yeah, it is bad. Here are some ideas for how you can improve. And that doesn't mean they hate you. That doesn't mean that you're, you know, it doesn't mean that you're the worst Dutch speaker that's ever lived. It means that, yeah, your Dutch is bad. You said it, they said it. Okay, it's, it's an established fact. Whether or not they said it, it was still there. Um, but they're going to try and help you. They're going to give you some feedback and they're going to say, okay, here's, here's what you can improve. Here are some things you can look at. Um, if you just remember that the Dutch are blunt and, and down to earth, um, nuchter is the word they use for it, um, which translates more to like sober or solemn, but it, it's really just like hyper practical. Um, if you remember that, that'll, that'll, ju that'll just help. That'll, that'll just make the transition so much easier. Um, more than anything else anyone could have told me if, if they had just been like, the Dutch are super blunt and super down to earth, like unbelievably down to earth, then I would have been like, oh, and things would have made sense a lot faster. Um, when you approach someone on the street, it really depends, how you do it depends on where you are. In the Netherlands, a one hour train ride will pull you into a totally different culture, a different dialect, a different way of going about things. Each little town, each city tends to have their own way of doing things and their own dialect of Dutch um, and their own expectations. When I was in Rotterdam, for instance, um, we discovered that when we knocked on someone's door or when we talked to someone, we said, 
Hello, we're missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We're here to share this book with you. May we talk to you about Jesus Christ. We had to tell them right there, right on the spot, why we were there and what we wanted, or they got very annoyed. Sometimes we would be like, hi, we're volunteers and we're asking people where they find happiness in their lives. And the Rochadamers would be like, um, in my family, but what do you want? You know, why, why are you here? Why are you, what, you know, what, what, are you, what are you doing? Why are you wasting my time? But when I got transferred to Groningen, which is far north, um, which is a student city, um, that approach did not work at all. At all. They'd be like, hi, I'm a missionary, blah, 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 blah. I want to talk to you about Jesus Christ. And be like, nope, have a great day. You know, and then uh, and that was that. But if I went up to someone and I said, hey, I'm a missionary, you know, I'm, I'm asking people questions. What what brings you happiness in life? Or, or where, what do you think is most important in life? Something to kind of get the conversation rolling. Um, the people in Groningen would, re, would respond. They'd, they'd be willing, most of the time, they'd be willing to talk to me. Um, but the people in Rotterdam would not. Rotterdam would not. So it's, it's important to, to understand that everywhere is different. Um, either of those approaches would be really blunt in America. Hi, I'm a missionary. What makes you happy? You know, like, oh, oh, sorry, excuse me. But in the Netherlands, that's, that's what you do. Um, and it's good. It's cool. Because yeah, if you're talking to someone, you have a reason. And they, they want to know what that reason is. And they're not going to waste your time.